In this video, we're going to try and find the exact value of the shaded region between these two curves. We've got y equals 2x plus 1 to the 5, and y equals 2 lots of 2x plus 1 to the 4. Okay, so first thing that we really want to do is to figure out where these two curves intersect. So we're going to put 1 equal to the other. So 2x plus 1 to the 5, and the 2 lots of 2x plus 1 to the 4. Okay, so we want to solve this equation. Now the way to go about it would be to move everything onto one side of the equation first. So if I write it as 2x plus 1 to the 5, take away 2 lots of 2x plus 1 to the 4 equals 0. I can now factor out 2x plus 1 to the 4 from both of these terms. So 2x plus 1 to the 4, and we'll be left with a 2x plus 1 from that bracket, and then take away 2 from that bracket. So we're going to have 2x plus 1 to the 4 times by 2x minus 1. OK, so we are ha going to have two solutions, one where x is equal to minus a half, and one where x is equal to 1 half. So this point here must be at the minus 1 half, and this point here must be at the positive 1 half. So the area that I need is the integral between minus 1 half and 1 half of the upper curve, so the two lots of 2x plus 1 to the 4 dx, and I need to take away the integral between minus a half and a half of the lower curve, the 2x plus 1 to the 5. Because what that will do is it will leave me with that shaded region. So these are the two integrals I actually want to uh, evaluate. OK, so I'm going to use um, integration by substitution on both of these. Now, you could use uh, reversing the chain rule. Um, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to use integration by substitution just to kind of confirm the results. OK, so let's have a look at this first one. So if I do it in another colour, right, let's go with uh, green for this one. So u would be the 2x plus 1. So du by dx would be 2. And so dx would be a half du. OK. Um, so that gives me everything that I need, apart from changing the limits. So changing the limits when x is a half, u would be two lots of a half, so one plus one, so two. And when x is minus a half, uh, two lots of minus a half is minus one plus one, so we get zero. So we'd be integrating between zero and two. 2 lots of u to the 4 times by 1 half du. So I can safely say that this integrates between 0 to 2, the 2 and the half cancel, u to the 4 du. Okay, So that would be the first integral dealt with. Now, as for the second integral, um, the u being 2x plus 1 would be the same. So all that would be the same. The limits would also change to the same values. So we'd actually have the integral here uh, between 0 and 2 of 2x plus 1, so u to the 5, times 1 half du. So this is the integral of 1 half u to the 5 du evaluated between 0 and 2. OK. Now... What you can do, and I could have done at that stage as well, is that when you've got two integrals with the same limits, you can combine them. So I can write that as the integral between 0 and 2 of u to the 4 take away 1 half u to the 5 du. So it eases the notation. Right, so I'm going to have 1 fifth u to the 5, adding 1 to the power divided by the new power, take away 1 twelfth u to the 6, evaluated between 0 and 2. OK, 
Okay, so substituting in uh, 2 to start off with. So 2 to the power of 5 uh, divided by 5. So 32 fifths. And then we've got 1 twelfth of 2 to the power of 6. So that would be 16 thirds. And then substituting 0, we're just going to get 0. So 32 fifths take away 16 thirds is 16 fifteenths. And that is the exact area of the shaded region as required.